Hi, my name is Katharina, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about how to identify male and female squash bees. And because there are different types of squash bees, I wanted to let you know that I'm focusing on the squash bee whose scientific name is Pipinapis pruinosa. Now, hopefully, you've practiced how to tell squash bees from honeybees, and if you haven't, you can check out our other squash bee identification video. Female and male squash bees are actually pretty easy to tell apart if you know what you're looking for. In this picture, we have a female on the top of the picture and a male on the bottom of the picture. Females tend to be bigger than males. They tend to be more orange. In this picture, you can see how the striping on the abdomen of the male bee is brown and yellow, while the striping on the abdomen of the female bee is brown and orange. And females have hairier legs because they are the ones actively collecting pollen to bring back to their ground nest. That means that typically the females have a lot more pollen on their legs than males do. Now, if you can see the face of the bee, you can look for a yellow dot, which means that you're looking at a male bee. Females do not have this yellow marking on their face. Also, male antennae are longer than those of females. And finally, male bees tend to overnight in squash and pumpkin flowers, so you can actually go into your crop field or your garden and squeeze some of the old flowers and listen for a buzz. Also in the early morning, after new flowers have opened, but before it's warmed up, you can find male squash bees sunning themselves and drinking nectar in these newly opened flowers. Now that you have some ideas on how to tell female squash bees from male squash bees, we'll take a quick quiz. So here's your first picture. I'll give you a second. So this is a male squash bee. You can see that the legs are not that hairy and he has a yellow dot on his face. Are you ready for the next one? This is actually one we looked at earlier. Okay, I'm going to give you the answer now. This top bee is a male squash bee and the bottom one is a female squash bee. You can see how the female pollen loads are larger, how she's more brown and orange, and how she's larger than the male squash bee. And finally, here's the last one. And if you answered female squash bee, then you are correct. You can see how hairy her legs are and how orange her abdomen looks. Hopefully, you have a better sense of how to tell female squash bees from male squash bees. Thanks for listening, and keep spreading the word about our important crop pollinators. That's a male squash bee, by the way. I don't know if you noticed the yellow dot on his face. This video was made by me, Katharina Ullman. I'm a graduate student in the Williams Lab in the Department of Entomology at the University of California in Davis. And funding for this video is provided by the Western Sustainable Agriculture Research and Education Program and the National Science Foundation's Graduate Student Research Fellowship Program.
Hopefully you have a better sense of how to tell female squash bees from male squash bees. Thanks for listening and keep spreading the word about our important crop pollinators. That is a male squash bee, by the way. Maybe you noticed the yellow dot on his face, even though it's really small. This video was funded by the Western Sustainable Agriculture Research and Education Program and the National Science Foundation's Graduate Student Research Fellowship Program. Additional support came from the Department of Entomology at the University of California in Davis.